get a little more solder on there. Oops, and just threw the fan on the floor. Oh, and the heat shrink tube came out. Boy, that is some smoky solder. Okay, let's start with the black. Let's try and get the red one out of the way. Got the heat shrink tubing back on. Let's see if we can get this done. We are just not getting that. Okay, what's the problem here? We got more than enough solder. Let's make sure we got it good and well done and black and red again let's make sure we have that one good and well done good and well tinned normally these just pop right together for me the other one certainly did hey my hands are shaking a little bit this morning too much blood in my caffeine system i can't keep it together come on If I wasn't doing this on camera, it would have had it done the first time. There we go. <clears throat> that was way harder than it needed to be. And before I get that, let me give a little tug on it. It is good and soldered. Let me put a, a wee bit of tape around it because it's easier to do now than it would be after I'd soldered the other one. I stacked a bunch of stuff in front of my drawers over here and now it's going to take a battle to get into the tape. Of course, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Grab my scissors because I only want a little bit of tape. Actually, that's about twice as much as what I really wanted. Let me cut that off. Okay, so now I am just going to come in and wrap this up. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because if it did, we'd be here tomorrow doing this, and it still wouldn't be perfect. Just want to get it enough over it. And now we're going to try and solder this red one. Let's see how difficult this turns out to be. Let's make sure we get it really well tinned first. And you guys out there who solder and do this electrical stuff for a living, you're all going to be laughing at me, and I know it, and that's fine. But I've been doing this on cars since I was probably 13. Motorcycles before that. I had my first motorcycle, I think, when I was 9 or 10. I kept it hidden on the side of the house so Dad couldn't find it because dad did not like motorcycles. Oops, I'm not very happy with how that tins. See if I can't do a little better. That's somewhat more acceptable. It was a 1962 Honda Super 90. And um, I think I had that thing over there on the side of the house in the bushes for probably a year before dad found it and blew a, blew a 20 amp fuse. We had a little family meeting over that because mom knew it was there. I reminded dad that he was the one who talked me into getting the paper route to earn some money. And it was the paper route money who um, that I used to buy the motorcycle. I eventually got to keep it, but it kind of went into stasis for about three months while, while mom and dad discussed it probably discussed my fate as well but <laughs> funny looking back on all that stuff funny thing is my dad was a motorcycle rider himself he didn't start disliking motorcycles until he crashed one my dad was a, a famous crasher he crashed his father's airplane little light piper probably a Piper Cub, and then he crashed his own airplane. After that, Dad decided um, motorcycles and airplanes were bad. 
Well, maybe not airplanes because the heat shrink tubing isn't on it. Chuck, you did exactly what you said you weren't going to do. You soldered it all together without the heat shrink tubing on it. Doofus. That's what I get. That is what I get. Okay, well, we'll just do it twice. I did such a good job taping this, I can't find the end. There it is. Not going to use that tape again, but um, I didn't do a very good job taping it either, but nothing unusual about that. Did exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. Soldered the wires together without the heat shrink tubing on. I could have swore it was on, but I guess it fell off at some point in time. And I didn't see it. Okay, we're just going to get these wires separated real quick. Okay, let's try again. This time we will strive not to be stupid. Okay, heat shrink tubing on. Y'all are laughing at me. I know it. I can hear it out there. Oh, the dummy put it together without the tubing on and has to do it over. And some of you are going, yeah, well, I do that every time, so now I don't quite feel so bad about myself. That's what how I feel when I watch AVE. If you've never watched AVE, go watch him. He makes you feel better about yourself. <laughs> and he makes you laugh, too. Okay, how come I don't have enough wire there? Okay, let's try this one more time. Heat shrink tubing definitely is on. We're going black and red to black. I was just practicing those other time, that other time just so you all could really see how I was doing it. I knew I left it off. Come on, get on there. Boy, my hand, they shake it today, isn't it? That's part of my problem. Okay, there's that one. Let's do a. I'm gonna melt that wire if I'm not careful. Let's do a quick tape job on it. Hopefully, a better quick tape job than the last. But, who knows? Can't even get the tape off the roll this time. You ever notice when you do something and it turns out perfect, there's always a reason why you have to redo it? In this case, it didn't even turn out perfect, and I had to redo it. Yeah, when something goes right the first time, it scares the heck out of me. <laughs> because I know there's something wrong, and I'm going to have to redo it. Okay, that's more tape than what I wanted, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now <laughs> let's do the other one again. <laughs> Yeah, go watch AVE if you haven't. He's hilarious. If you if if you don't have a lot of tolerance for foul language and, and sexual innuendo, then you probably want to skip him. But um and that's A V E. A is in Adam, V is in Victory, and E is in Echo. He is a funny guy. He's pretty knowledgeable too, but he comes across as an idiot, and he's not. <laughs> I think he. I think sometimes he does it on purpose, and I think sometimes it's just. I think it's where he grew up, and he worked in the mining business for years, apparently. And I worked in businesses when I was younger, where you pick up a lot of foul language because I mean that's how everybody talked. I mean I worked at. Todd Shipyards and Lockheed Shipyards and Marine Power in the Seattle area when I was younger. I mean, that's how everybody talked. You didn't open your mouth without dropping F-bombs. Later on when I got out and into the automotive business, I worked with a guy who spent 20, 30 years as a New York cabbie. And um, this guy would make you howl laughing. Every other word was F this. And you just wouldn't believe how he could possibly sneak so many F-bombs in a single sentence and still have it be coherent, but he did. Funny guy. Oh, 
Okay. So now we're going to slide the heat shrink tubing up over it. And I got a heat gun over here someplace because I'm not going to use the mini butane torch again on it because that didn't work out really well. So what am I going to unplug here? This is my fan. I can unplug the fan. Now watch, I'll bang, I'll, I'll knock the entire circuit of this house, the breaker out, turning this heat gun on. <sighs> Oops, go down. All right, ain't gonna shrink no more than that. Set this down someplace where the tip of it won't melt anything, or wreck anything. Okie doke. Now we're cooking with gas. So, we got her wired up. I dropped a, some solder on my mirror. Hopefully that'll just pop right off. Dang hairspray, everything sticks to that hairspray. I'm telling you. How did I go that many years without finding out about Aquanet Extra Super Hold? Stuff is amazing. <laughs> so let's put the pet fang back. Try and get it back kind of sort of the way it was. I think we're good there. Uh, this wire has to come underneath. It's got its own little channel to go in like that. I don't like where that turned out to be. Let me see what I can do about that. I'm not too happy with that. Let's see if I can't. You know what? Let's put... Hmm. Didn't give myself really enough like that. So do I go like that? I have enough for both, really. Yeah, I think we're going to try like that. Let's try like that and just see what it looks like. And we're going to slide that into that little groove. I've learned my lesson with wiring. I, um, I like to leave myself enough extra in case plans change. And but when I really wanted to go around under those screws. Okay, rethink. Rethink. So, like that maybe. Okay, let's do that. So, I'm going to get a little wire tie. Thanks to Creality for giving me a boatload of them with this printer. I've also got drawers full of them in the garage. Having done custom auto and motorcycle work. So I'm going to go right around here and here. I don't want to put any strain right on the solder joint if I can help it. And I'd like to have any strain that I do get, you know, any movement, I'd like to have it go over a loop where that bending is, is spread out among a large area. You know what I should have done if I was smart? I had to put this under there too. But do I want to cut that or do I see I'm not still not getting exactly what I wanted. Why am I so short there? Darn. Good thing I left as much as I did or I wouldn't get it on at all. Okay, we're going to do that because that appears to be my only option. So I am going to cut that and do another one. I have had enough wiring issues over the years on cars and motorcycles and Jeeps to learn that when something that moves that has wires connected to it doesn't look right it's time to stop right there and rethink it because if it doesn't look right it probably isn't right so no way I'm gonna get that around there now behind which is really how it should have been let's try this Let's try that. You know what? I think that's going to be the. I think that's going to be the trick. We're going to pull that in behind, and 
Oh yeah, this is this is how I'm gonna want it. That's the trick. That's how I want it right there. So now we're gonna slide this around. Now I'll find some way, reason not to like this. Yeah, if you don't like the way wiring looks in, in moving parts, stop and rethink it. Because if it doesn't look right, it's probably not, and it's probably gonna wind up breaking when you least want it to break. Now. I'm also going to get this other wire tie off because I really don't need two of them in the exact same spot. So let's get this one off as well. There we go. So now this is going to come up here like that and this is all going to be put together like that. So let's get this up here. Yeah, that's better. That makes me happier. And now that's in behind. Okay, do I need one of these or do I need two? I think one's going to work. So, let's clip that off. Now, this can sit in its little channel. And I should now have enough for the loop to go underneath. And I do. That's what I wanted to begin with, was right like that. Excellent. I'm very happy with that. And I have enough. That leaves me enough that if I have to work on it, I can get this out of the way. So I'm not constantly battling something. And let's slip this back in. This has to go in its channel under here. Like that. And like that. And this goes on the outside. And I'm going to put this side on first. go ahead and put that on. It really wouldn't be in the way. Let me think about how we're going to mount that. Oh, you know what? That screw is super long in there. This may wind up being a two-part video while I go buy another screw. But to be honest with you, I think I'm going to only do this with three. Because this screw here that's in that large hole it goes way, let me show you, it goes way down through the base and ties the base onto there. So I'd need some really long screw and I don't know if I'm going to find a three millimeter screw that long even down at eight. So let's work, let's try this with just three. The other fan was only held on with two, but this is a little bit more substantial than that. I would like three in it. We may only get two to start, we'll see. 